You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Well, I can't do it, so... I'd better get going. Yeah, Mira's gonna... Mira, we'll talk more later. I have to deal with this on the own. Sorry, guys. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... No. No, I don't sorry, think that's Roger. a good idea. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. And back at Brown. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. Nothing like clocks. I say it'll be a short autumn. Like Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Mm -hmm. So move. Yeah, we'll Wrong fucking answer. Who is this? Most guy? of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger in his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years no. ago. To and I don't care. From wild you should. White walkers, At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Dead. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. To the Bay of Seals. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? But no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Leave him be. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Ben. Tuttle. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Can swing a sword? Frostfinger. See what the guy is right. I need a word. 
Go on, on get started. Let's have the bear action in bow. Looks like a giant's like best a of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Not bad. You're doing that all wrong. But well, we don't have these, we're like. Ah! Ah, my fucking foot! <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets, I tell you. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Yay. Our Lord Commander. No. So you got a uh, kind of kind of trouble this fun. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Yeah, I just feel a little sorry for you because you, uh, changed yourself in the front there, bud. Hey, sword ring. Take that! Take that, you oh, whore! Watch your bloody tongue! You, grab a practice sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. 
Want some help? yourself tough. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. <laughs> oh! I won't say it again. Ah, fuck! Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't! And Garrett defended him! The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it! Huh. And you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training! Sir, Not I. Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This one's not. Oh, you crafty prick. I like him. This and way. Here we are, back at King's Landing. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. Yeah. Just through here. What are you Can doing? You, you, you will you. see. Queen yeah, Cersei's gosh. finest wine. Um. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. 
Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Suit yourself then. Yeah. If so, she cut, we'll just walk her uh... to the wall. Well, I just. Right. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. Yay, friendship hug. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? I don't know who this person is. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It yeah. must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. That is smart. 
Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. What? My lady. This is a great opportunity. Sarah can advise Queen Marjorie. And I We've been waiting here options. for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros? She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira. 